Fred again. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you uh, the fermentation lab for Biology 112. So this is lab seven. And I'm going to start with uh, exercise one. I'll set that up and take some data for you. Uh, so before we get started, I'll kind of show you what we're, we're, what we're doing. We have these fermentation tubes here, uh, which will provide provide an anaerobic chamber uh, for fermentation to occur. And then gas can collect in the, the, the uh, tail of this fermentation tube. And then we can measure the size of that gas bubble as the reaction, uh, as the fermentation progresses. Uh, we've got a timer. We have some water, some 30% glucose as a sugar source. And then we have a yeast suspension. And I have all these in a tub of warm water just to kind of get things going a little more quickly uh, from the start. So the first thing I'm gonna do is label the tubes. I'm gonna set them up uh, as in table two on page 147. Uh, so I'll have three tubes uh, with varying amounts of yeast. Just go ahead and label these one, two, and three. Okay. And then I'm going to start filling these with the appropriate uh, uh, solutions. So for water, uh, tube one is going to get eight milliliters of water. I'll do this in stages. And tube two is going to get six milliliters of water. And tube three is going to get two milliliters of water. Now we'll add the glucose. The so tube one is going to get six milliliters of glucose. Actually, all of them are gonna get six milliliters of glucose. And then now for the yeast. So tube one is not going to get any yeast. Uh, and tube two is just going to get two milliliters. And two, three is going to get six milliliters of yeast. Okay. 
these tubes are all set up now. Make sure that this doesn't spill. Uh, now we want to mix these. And normally in the lab, we'd mix these with some parafilm. But since I don't have parafilm, I'm taking some uh, pieces of little squares of uh, a plastic bag, and I'm just going to use those. What I'm going to do is cover the, the opening and do this over uh, something that I don't mind being messy. And just invert it a few times. And that's going to leave a uh, solution all the way in the, um, like the full length of the tail. So we'll uh, have to do one more thing before we start the data collection. I'm going to uh, mix the it's tube two here. As less yeast. Now all the tubes are ready to go. Uh, there's one more thing I want to do before we start this experiment. And this I'm going to use a, a uh, transfer pipette for. And I want to get just a tiny little air bubble into the top of the tail of the tube to give us a nice reference mark to measure from. I'm just going to pipette in there and add a few air bubbles until they form nice, nice big air bubble at the top of the tail, kind of like that. Uh, you'll probably see it a little easier on the yeast ones. That's what they look like in the yeast tubes. Okay, so now we are ready to start the data collection. Uh, one other thing that I'm going to do before we start is I'm going to put a reference line uh, where these air bubbles are starting out. I'm going to measure it right at the level of the meniscus, if I can see the meniscus. Okay. So now we have the tubes all set up. We are ready to start the timer. And we will uh, have this go for 20 minutes. And I will collect data. I'll pause the video and then collect data at five minute intervals for you. Okay, so we are at five minutes now, so it's time to take our first reading. And I'm going to start with tube three since that one is going pretty quickly. That looks like uh, I'm going to say 11 millimeters. So at zero at time zero, and now 11. 
in tube two, we have nothing. So zero and still zero in tube one has also not moved. Zero, zero and zero. So we'll let this go for another five minutes and then uh, record some more data. Okay, it looks like it's time for another measurement. So we will. Looks like two three is thirty millimeters. Tube two is I think still at zero. And tube one is also still at zero. We'll check back in another five minutes. Okay, we are at 15 minutes now, so we'll do another measurement. That looks like 51 millimeters. Yeah, 51. Looks like tube two is finally getting going. It looks like about three millimeters. And tube one is still at zero. I'll pause this again and take one more reading. Okay, we are now ready to take the last of the data. It's at 20 minutes. And we will again start with tube three. Measure that at 64 millimeters. <sighs> Lab text. And then for tube two, uh, that looks like about nine millimeters. And tube one, I don't even really need the ruler, but it's still at zero. And there is our data. So, oh yeah, we can turn that timer off. So there we have it. Um, There is our data. So we are going to clean this up and uh, we will see you for the next video for exercise two.